three, two, <clears throat> one. Mm. We are live. Mm. We'll see how long this lasts. Want to do a quick update video on the Dreamcade replay. Nick and Drew Talks are going to do this really quick. Um, you know, I've had it here for a while. Some people occasionally comment on my videos and ask, hey, what's going on with the Dreamcade? And uh, not a whole lot. We're seeing a lot more clone systems on the market. I know the whole Soldier Boy thing. I didn't make a video on it, but it's you. If you've probably heard about it, it was in the news everywhere. Uh, and then now we had Dream Game Replay, which was initially a Kickstarter, one console to rule them all. Let's see if we have their Kickstarter up here. Oh, we gotta find it. And uh, it's no longer for sale. That's the kicker, is that I can no longer see it for sale. You can't do the Kickstarter. If you go to their own website, dreamcades.com, you'll notice that you can no longer click the pre-order. And they're primarily focusing on their full-size arcades. Um, so what happened to it? Well, it still exists. If you have one, they didn't recall it or take them back. As far as the functionality they promised, it's like 80% there. But I was on the Amazon page. Actually, I want to show you that. Uh, and on the Amazon page, um, let's just see if we can Dreamcade. The, uh, all the reviews were really negative. And um, you're not connected. There we go. Okay, so this is just, a, I think, a third party. That's so weird. Live stream's working. What's up, everyone? Welcome. First live stream of the new year. So, um, so one person happy, and then a lot of people upset. And I was reading their comments, and I would agree that it's not a plug-and-play system. And that's why I wanted to reshow this this video here of when I did my quick setup. You know, when you plug this thing in, and then you you update the firmware, you install all the updates. Uh, I'd have to agree with people that you probably do want a keyboard and mouse with this system in order to get it initially set up before you can go controller only. And I think a lot of people thought initially it was just going to be this plug and play device with the front end that's just going to you know click on a game, you play it. And um, it does work. Like I'm not saying they duped everyone and you didn't get what you were promised. As far as the specs, they actually ended up upgrading the CPU. That was pretty good. Um, something I was really concerned about, we're just gonna go back and forth with pros and cons here, was that the game downloader would eventually go away. Especially with Nintendo and they're like going after everybody and anybody. Uh, you could see here in this video, I'll pause it, but this is the downloader. And this still works. I booted this up about a month ago when I had a friend over to try it out and see, you know, what was up. And I have to say it was actually kind of a pain. I had to do some updates and everything else. But we eventually got in there. Um, my biggest gripes with it were the controller. Setting up your controllers is not as easy. I think they tried to make it really easy, but it actually ended up making it a little more complicated. Uh, but uh, the downloader still works. You can literally just type in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then it'll, it, they did do one thing though. They added a script in between these two screens that I just showed you. I don't wanna go live with the Dreamcade because I haven't booted up in like a month. But uh, right in this screen, once you click the, um, once you search it, and then you right when you click right here, when you click into the ROM uh, link, it pops up a thing and says, are you sure that you own this game and you want to download it? So I think by adding that script, they're kind of like, you know, the user is acknowledging that they own this game. And that was what they, they added in there, which was kind of interesting that they, um, they added that in. Now, the reason I'm making this, this video is I think a lot of people forgot about the Dreamcade replay. And I was even on their, their forum, and you can see it's pretty dead. Like, nothing has really happened since about August. Like, there's a couple... There's a couple people that are active in here, but very few. So I think it's kind of gone to this kind of niche. There's only, you know, 
whoever, you know, I, what do they sell? I forget, but I would imagine there's less than like 2,000 units out in the wild, which is really small. Uh, so now I feel like it's kind of this niche, niche, niche community who, um, you know, they're so small that that's why you're not really hearing about it. Now, uh, the other issue I had was with the controller configuration. So um, there was that. So it'd be, I don't know what everyone ended up doing with theirs. I still have mine. You know, I still see kind of a value in it. But there's also, I agree with some of the disappointments. But then again, I kind of know how to go around a Windows PC and use RetroArch and configure controls and things like that. So it was fairly easy. I do think that people who thought it was going to be a plug and play, uh, I can see why they're a little disappointed. Um, further disappointments potentially is I don't believe that if you were a backer, you got all of your stretch goals. For example, I never knew, heard anything about the enhanced Steam integration. It does have Steam and has a Steam app. Maybe that's what they were promising. I don't remember the free sports game pack. Um, they did give us the decals. The casino game was included. Uh, the theme creation tool was included. The online community features, that was, there's no badges. There's no sharing. There's no chat that I know of. If you go to here, there's nothing. This is just a forum. So never did that. Uh, four player game pack. I was unaware of anything like that. And then the light gun support. Again, I was unaware of that. But my understanding was that because they were funded, it was like, go to the races, go to China, make this thing, get it delivered out, and then worry with it. Well, if you're reading around, they had a really difficult time sending these units out. Like I heard of people, I got mine like some people, I got them like two, three months before them. And it was already delayed as far as production. So that's fine. I mean, it sounds like they eventually got them all out. And some people sold them, they did whatever they wanted with them. That's great. But uh, they still owed a lot of things on here. But my theory, and again, I need to talk to them. I am mad, this is my theory of what's going on. They sell a ton of these. This is their other business. They have Dream Arcades and they have Dreamcade. And Dream Arcade sells these, you know, big 40 inch cabinets for like $5,000, you know, multi thousand dollars. And Christmas season is their biggest time. It's a very seasonal industry because you get these cabinets for Christmas presents and things like that. And so they focused on this business within the last four months. I'm sure the Dreamcade was like, a, you know, let's just put it off for now. So I guess this is be my thing of let's see what happens in the new year. Are they going to re revive this thing? Get it, you know, some fixes, update the firmware, things like that. We shall see. Um, I'm not super super optimistic, but um, it'd be cool if they did. And lastly, I would finish off at at the end of the day, it was a huge success I think for Dream Arcades because a they were able to deliver a product. They didn't have to refund any money. And two, the main reason this cr they created, huh, the main reason they created this machine was so that they could put it inside their arcades. Because before they were using little, you know, Dell Optiplex or HP computers. And now that they have built their own custom hardware that they get at a really reduced price from China, they could just buy those all day, set them up themselves. Again, the setup is where the issue is. If they're setting them up and they're giving them to the consumer with the updated firmware and everything else, it, with their own you know, arcade buttons and switches, then it's gonna be plug and play and there's no issues whatsoever. They can even remote in and do customer service. So it was a huge win, I think, for them in the long run. I just hope that they don't forget about the people who don't own an arcade machine but they still have the DreamK replay at home and are using it as a media center or a retro gaming uh, computer. And then lastly, I'll just compare this to all the other systems out there. You know, we have the Raspberry Pi, we have the Odroid, we have the Tinkerboard, we have the uh, NVIDIA Shield TV, which is considered the best Android TV. And I have to say for the price point, at this point in time, if you're gonna spend over $100, Personally, I would either build my own Dell Optiplex like I did and use um, LaunchBox because, you know, with RetroArch and LaunchBox, it's pretty simple. Uh, or I would actually go with the NVIDIA Shield. I, I own a Shield now, 
and it's pretty cool. You get the whole Google Store. It's you know it's really easy to use with a remote or a controller. No keyboard or mouse needed. So, oh boy, he's tired. He just woke up. So, anyways, that's uh, that's an update on the Dreamcade replay. I haven't made a video on it in a really long time. So, where are they? What happened? Um, no one broke the law or anything like that. They definitely fulfilled what they said, minus a couple things, as I mentioned. And, uh, yeah. Hey! Okay, so the live stream's gonna end now. But I wanna say what's up to everyone. What up, Woody? What up, Dexter? What up, Sutterin? What up, Infamous? What up, the general generate? Wheat pasta. Um, so, wheat pasta, I know. Okay, wheat pasta have. Um, Okay, so the wee pasta is saying. Okay. I would recommend a keyboard and mouse, like I said, wee pasta. And he said that uh, people might want to switch to Launchbox instead of using the Dreamcade replay front end. Um, and that's a good point in that this computer was still cheap. Everyone, there's it was the Ace PC, and everyone was saying that the Ace PC was the same thing as the Dreamcade replay, just with a rebranding. And um, so, but it was still cheaper than the Ace PC was. So to his point, you still got a pretty good deal on a single board computer um, that you could just put LaunchBox on. So that's a great point as well. So I'm sure Wheat Poss will be in the comments below once this video goes live and he can help out. Let me know what you all think. You know, what was it a success, was it not? Um, you know, my biggest concern was it was that downloader was eventually going to get removed and all this other stuff. But for the most part, it stayed in, in, in intact for all those things. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys all think. And we'll catch you guys later.